Uh, my apologies in advance. This intro is going to be filmed on a shaky hand cam because I, I have no idea what I'm doing. The tank is literally empty. I am so tired. My tired is tired. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. And I couldn't figure out where I was going to film this. And I have no idea what to use for a filming setup. I don't have like a designated filming setup. I should probably do something like that, but I don't, I don't have that yet. So you're just, we're just chilling on the couch together for a little bit. And I'm holding my camera in my hand and I feel my stuffies above my head. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I have a very good reason for being tired and I'm going to tell you all about it later. Uh, I will save that to the end of the video. Is that a clickbaity kind of... Yeah, probably. But you know what? It really helps my channel if you watch my videos all the way to the end. Even if you don't like the video, if you just put it on mute and let it go until it's done, then that helps my videos not get buried in the algorithm so that other people who might actually like this content can see it. So stick around to the end for a big surprise. <laughs> In the meantime, what I'm doing for this video is basically like a battle of the lemonades. No, I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. I figured it's getting hot and, you know, cool drinks are a good thing. And I kind of want it to be relevant-ish by, you know, tackling a kind of trend. While it's still hot, is it? I don't know. Was it ever hot? I don't know. Anyway. So. I don't even remember how long ago I came across a video with a fantastic looking, pardon me, a fantastic looking recipe for Brazilian lemonade. I had never tried it. Looks good. So we're going to try it. And then in response to that video, someone else made a video introducing, for those who didn't already know about it, um, Egyptian limonada or Egyptian lemonade or Mediterranean mint lemonade. or it's I have discovered it has lots of different names. And yeah, so I thought that would be kind of interesting to sort of test both lemonade recipes and see, uh, are they both fab? Are they both fails? Is one better than the other? So that's what we're going to do. Oh, the creators. Okay. So I will, um, I'm going to give credit to the creators that I found. I know there are probably other people who have put videos and like, these aren't specific made by these people recipes. Um, these are just the creators that I saw who posted these recipes. So I'm going to give them credit in the description down below. If I can, I will tag them, and if I can, I will leave a link to the videos that I saw with their recipes. If not, I'll at least like tag their username and their names and whatever information I can find so that uh, you can find them either on Instagram where I found them, or maybe they're on TikTok if you do that. I don't. Probably show my age, but I don't care, whatever. Um, but yeah, they're definitely on Instagram, and... Um, you know, credit where credit's due. You'll be able to find that information in the description below. I don't know what to say, and I'm pretty sure... Mm, I don't know. I think I just had another brain glitch. Let's just jump right into the video, shall we? Let's go make a cool drink and see how it tastes. Okay. To the kitchen. I've already put the water in the blender, and to that we're adding five tablespoons of white sugar. Doesn't that look pretty when it falls in the water? <laughs> anyway, and two whole limes. You just wash them and chop them up into chunks. Don't bother peeling them. You're putting the whole thing right in the blender. And then you're going to put the lid on and give it three to four quick pulses. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that was too much water. I've just put a strainer over a pitcher and I'm going to pour everything that was in the blender jug into the pitcher, straining out all the lime chunks. Lime chunks. The strained limeade goes back into the blender. I can't put all of it because my blender's not that big, but I put as much as I could. And then we add a half a can of sweetened condensed milk. That looks pretty going into. And then we're just going to give that a little blend. The finished drink goes back in the pitcher for the last time. Because I couldn't put all of it in the blender, I had to mix it by hand afterwards. Then I'm getting a couple of cups with some ice, because I've seen this served cold, so I thought it would taste the best. Pour some of that Brazilian lemonade over ice and give it a try. Brazilian lemonade. Now for the taste test. Oh, dang, that is good. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Creamy. A little bit sour, not at all bitter, even though we blended the, um, the whole lime. There's no bitterness. Mm. Oh, I'm going to be making this at least a few more times this summer. This is some good stuff. And we've got, yay, nay? Two more yays from the younglings. This is a three thumbs up. <laughs> Brazilian lemonade is definitely a fab. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to try the next drink. I haven't noticed this mention, so I just wanted to pop in and put this in the video. This is what the Brazilian lemonade looks like the next day. You can see it's separated there. I'm gonna give it a bit of a stir. Just to reincorporate everything. All right. Got a glass with some ice. Now this won't be as frothy because I didn't bother putting it back in the blender, but let's see if it's still good the next day. Yep, not as creamy, not as frothy. This definitely will last more than one day. When it separates, you gotta stir it back up. Mm. And it is still delicious. First ingredient for Egyptian limonada is crushed ice. Now I don't have like a pre-crusher, like, thing in the fridge whatever I'm doing it manually <laughs> a little rolling pin taking out some rage oh I've had a lot of rage lately so this was this was quite therapeutic and it works just fine crushed ice <laughs> so I put um, it's two cups of crushed ice in the blender and then you need four cups of water but I only put in two because my blender's not that big I'll add the other water later. And then two lemons, and you just cut those up nice and small, keep the skins on, just like with the Brazilian lemonade. The ends, I'm gonna save those and squeeze out the extra juice and add that. Check out this. 
Ugh. Is that not beautiful? Somehow I managed to cut on all the natural segments. I had no idea that I was doing that while I was cutting. I found that out when I was editing. Ooh, that is beautiful. This one, <laughs> this is exactly what I expected it to look like, but the first one, ooh, gorgeous. And now we want to remove the seeds. The skin can go in the blender, but you don't want the seeds to. There were a lot of seeds. Now all of the lemon goes in the blender. There's that extra juice that I squeezed from the ends and a big handful of mint and then I think it's like two thirds of a cup of honey. I just squirted until I felt like I had to stop. I don't know. Um, <laughs> probably should have measured. And then there was no restriction on the blending. You just blend until it's all frothy and broken up. Now I have my pitcher and a strainer. Those holes above the pitcher, yeah, that causes me some trouble. I'm gonna need a different strainer, I think, if I keep making these drinks, because most of the liquid goes down into the pitcher, but a lot of it splashes over the sides. There's the extra water. Now we have our cup, and I'm throwing out a couple of ice cubes, because, you know, even though the drink is already cold, it just feels more like a refreshing summer drink when you throw ice cubes in there. I love them little mint chunks that are floating too. It looks really pretty. A little lime wedge. A mint sprig. Okay. okay. My first taste of Egyptian limonada. Cheers. That's um. Oh, that's got a pucker to it. That is really sour. I might not have added enough honey. But otherwise, the mint and the lemon. Mmm. Fantastic. That is really nice. I don't know that I would give it a two thumbs up fab. It's refreshing. It's promising. I, I could tinker with this recipe a little bit and clearly I keep going back. So it's not that bad. I'm going to say Egyptian limonada gets a fab, a one thumbs up fab, but still a fab. Second day Egyptian limonada follow up. As you can see, my glass is almost empty because with the proper amount of sweetener, mm, oh, it's good. It is so good. I used white sugar instead of honey because I didn't bother with the blender this time since it was already made. And I figured the white sugar would mix in by hand better than honey. I didn't want it to like clump at the bottom and not really do anything. Properly sweetened. This stuff gets a two thumbs up fab. So good. Mm. Another summertime favorite right here. I'm going to be drinking lots of this. I have some sweetened condensed milk left over, so let's try one more recipe. Why not? First, I'm going to add some ice to glasses and then a little splash of evaporated milk in each of the cups. Now for that leftover sweetened condensed milk. I'm just gonna spoon a bunch. I think uh, that's a little teaspoon, so I put uh, two teaspoons in each cup. I don't have formal measurements for this particular recipe. I don't even have a name for it. It's just like cream soda and milk. So I gave it a little bit of a stir just to incorporate the milks at the bottom there. Now the key for this recipe is a clear cream soda. Fago was the only choice I had at the Dollar Tree, so I went with it. You can't really go wrong with cream soda though, they're all pretty good. 
So I just topped up each glass and now, now to taste the extra creamy cream soda. I don't think it has an official name, just cream soda and milk. I don't, whatever you want to call it. That's good. That's a lot like uh, an ice cream float. Without having to wait for the ice cream to melt. I say that's pretty fabulous. And we're back with the same shaky hand cam and the comfy couch. I was going to say a slightly different angle, but no, I think it's the same. <laughs> I think I managed to get the same angle. Anyway, yeah, so that was, that was a hoot and a half. I was actually able to try three drink recipes instead of two. And, uh, highly recommend. They were delicious. Remember to check the description below for information on the creators of the recipes or at least the videos of the recipes that I found. So yeah, I would have to say that this has been a uh, three out of three for fabs. They're all very good. And yeah, now for my <laughs> big surprise. <laughs> Doing the best I can with only one available. <laughs> and anyway, you ready? You're not ready for this. Hazel. Hazel, baby. We got a poochie! <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Oh, she's so cute. I love her. She's a little Springer Spaniel. Five years old. We adopted her from our local Humane Society. She's such a good girl. Aren't you? Such a good girl. She is the reason that I am. There we go. Oh, this is a flattering angle. <laughs> oh, well. This lovely furry lady right here is the reason that I am so exhausted. She is such a bundle of energy. Actually, she's calming down. Um, daughter and I saw her and met her same day on last Friday. And then Saturday we brought her home. Sunday we all celebrated Father's Day together. And her and I have been slowly getting into our routine together. Um, for the last, today's what, Wednesday? So for the last like two and a half-ish days. But yeah. I think she's, I think she's, uh, what's the word I was looking for? She's adjusting, I think, really well to her current setup. I think she is satisfied that she's found her forever home. Uh, she's still a bundle of energy, though. She has definitely calmed down since the weekend. But, oh... I will take her out for a W-A-L-K. I'm not saying the word because she knows that word and she'll get excited and we're not going yet. But I'll take her out for one of those right after the school run. And then, like, we'll be out as long as I can. Which, I, I can max out at about an hour. But, yeah. And then we'll come home and she'll go right out back. And do what hubby has dubbed the puppy 500. I don't know where all that energy comes from. It's exhausting. And being a Springer, she loves chasing squirrels, bunnies, birds. Doesn't care much for other dogs, though. Um, loves kids. Won't chase them. But if a child comes over and wants to pet her, oh, she's in seventh heaven. Absolutely loves that. But yeah, she uh, she will strain the lead. 
and just yeah I've gone from like getting out to walk when I'm mentally able to oh I said the word and she didn't care nice okay anyway so yeah I used to like take my out myself out for a little stroll when I was mentally able and now she needs twice a day that's a lot yes I do have family um hubby and kids do help it's just wow it's a lot and it's summer blessed solstice everyone it is the solstice today it's the first day of summer <sighs> it hasn't been too bad here my heart goes out to everybody who is sweating their butts off right now because <laughs> i know how awful that is i have been pretty lucky that we've had a breeze so it hasn't been too too hot but it's still hot enough that you know you go out for your morning w-a-l-k i'm not gonna chance it and oh she hears a bird anyway so we go out in the morning and i'm like drenched in sweat and then i've got to take her out in the evening or the afternoon drenched in sweat pretty sure i'm premenopausal so during the night drenched in sweat what I'm basically saying is I understand why previous, you know, generations, like, centuries ago, didn't care to bathe. Yeah. I totally, yep. I can, I can see where my ancestors came from. I, too, would have been one of those dirty English because what what's the point i mean you you shower and you're clean for like 10 minutes and then you're just sweating again when you could just sweat and get, anyway is it possible to overdose on endorphins because uh that's another thing i'm pretty sure you know that quote from legally blonde where else, like, when you exercise, you get endorphins, and endorphins make you happy, and happy people don't kill their husbands. I don't know if it's because of the redhead gene, or if there's something, I don't know, maybe I'm broken, but I don't feel happy. I don't get happy endorphins from physical activity. If anything, I get a murderous rage. <laughs> What was the point of this video again? Oh, yeah, the drinks. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you very much to everybody who watched this entire video with the sound on. You're a superstar. You get points. You, you, you get a billion gold stars. If I had gold stars, I would give you gold stars because you deserve them. Uh, to anybody who finished this video with the sound off, thank you very much. I appreciate that you at least, you know, put up with me. And, uh, well, it doesn't matter what I think about anybody who's not still here because they're not still here. So, <laughs> but you and I know that they're missing out on the gold stars because they don't get any. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for this video. <laughs> Whatever the heck it was. And I will see you lovelies in my next video. It's going to be a better one. <laughs> It'll be better. Okay, well, Hazel doesn't want to be on film. But from Hazel and I, thank you very much. And I at least will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay fabulous, try and stay as sane as you can. <laughs> I mean, I know why I need all the help I can get. Uh, anyway. Toodaloo! <laughs> Bye!